Hey everybody, I was just checking out Stephen Rosell's blog post where he talks about his upcoming webinar next week on bonus tools and the uh, layout tools. And one of the tools that he mentions is a tool that he wrote called an auto unwrap UVs. And it gave me an idea of how I could create a radial symmetry workflow inside of Maya or inside of Mudbox, but uh, using UV layouts from Maya. So one of the things this lets me do is, uh, or Steven's tool lets me do, is create uniform faces. So I'm going to enter the tool, and it asks me to select the model I want to work with, and then uh, kind of in typical UV layout fashion, asks you to pick the edges that you want to split up. So in this case, I've cheated and created just a, a set of edge rings or a quick select set for my edge rings. I'm going to add those as the borders that I want to work with, and I'm going to click on Continue. So um, once I'm done, you'll see that I've laid out all of the rows that I want to work with inside of Mudbox in a symmetrical fashion, just like you see here. So if I go in and pick the faces, uh, I've picked one row. And what I'm going to do is take this over to Mudbox and paint on one section, and it'll propagate all the way around the, uh, the surface. Now, this is something that uh, you could have done before, but lining these UVs up or these UV shells up was a little bit uh, difficult. And there's been a bonus tool inside of uh, bonus tools for quite a while called Align UV Shells. Um, and you might not have found it because it's a, bon a Python script. And if your uh, path wasn't set properly, uh, it wouldn't show up. So a lot of people didn't know it was there. And what this lets me do is just take this row. Uh, in this particular case on the top here, and I'm going to deselect the the ones that get selected down on the bottom, and I'm just going to line up those according to the left uh, UV. And so once that's done, we'll select this one more time, and click that one more time, and it'll run through and line all of those points up for me. Now in this case, you can see that uh, I've got all of my my uh, my shells lined up properly. One thing I want to double check is to make sure that they are properly aligned. And in this case, you can see that I've got these, uh, they're, they're off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is select this point and select the shell and rotate that particular set around. So now that when I select this ring, they line up uh, properly no matter which ring I select. So once that's done, uh, we'll move this over. I just want to make sure that, that we're not right on the edge of our layout. Don't worry about the texture here. We don't really need to worry about that. Once I do this, uh, I'm all set up to send this over to Mudbox using one click. So I'm just going to send this over using our file menu. So once we're inside of Mudbox, all we have to do is start painting. So if I just, uh, let's turn on wireframe so we can actually see the different subdivisions that we've created inside of Maya. So if I just start painting in here, uh, let's actually use my paint tool, not my, uh, not my sculpting tool. It'll ask me if I want to create a paint layer, and as soon as I do that, you can see that I get a repeated pattern all the way around the surface. So this is essentially radial symmetry inside of Mudbox. So from here, let's actually turn on a stencil. Uh, we can use any of the tools that uh, are typically available to us. So I'll go ahead and paint a simple pattern on the surface. And from here, the last thing I want to do is let's go ahead and subdivide the model a few times. We'll take it up to uh, let's take it up to about six million polygons. We'll take it up to level six. Uh, we'll go up one more time. And once I'm there, I can freeze the model from the selected paint layer. This is a new feature. And if we freeze from selected, we then have the ability to go create a new sculpt layer and sculpt based on that frozen section or essentially the paint layer that we created. And this gives us basically radial symmetry sculpting. So once I'm done or once I've, I've flooded the surface, I'll turn off the paint layer so we can see the sculpting a little bit better. But essentially this matches exactly what we see inside uh, the viewport. So we'll turn off that. We'll unfreeze everything. And that might be a little bit strong for me, so I'll turn down the value of the layer. And now we've got that symmetrical stamp uh, all the way around the surface. So this is a great way of using bonus tools inside of Maya and sending that information over using one click and creating radial symmetry 
uh, a workflow inside of Mudbox for sculpting and painting. I'm not sure if this work, would work in every case, so definitely uh, if you have some other examples, uh, leave uh, some information in the comments. Thanks a lot.